Welcome, friends. Here we are. Back again. Felena And Michelle. <laughs> and those are the opposite voices. It's fine. They're reading the captions. I make the captions just for them. <laughs> okay, let's start this. <clears throat> but you need to see the final look of it. You didn't see... I saw a scene. Ugh, it's fine. You know I can't go back easily. It's fine. So... This, my whole thing was that I wanted to have a nice way to display all my glasses, you know? So I just drew a little scene around it, just a quick little rough sketch of what else I wanted to make to display these glasses in a cute way. Mm, you're saying it confusing. How so? <laughs> well, when you say glasses, it's like a drinking glass. Mm, I mean, I wanted to say sunglasses, but... <laughs> no, when you're talking about the glasses you on your face, they're called glosses. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyway, so I sketched out a fun thing, um, and now I'm making it happen. I saw a peak of a window scene. Does it go larger? Yeah. So this right here is only the uh, the little glasses display thingy. Oh, the glasses? Thing in the bo- Shell? <laughs> yes. For the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Got them. Yeah, you look like a fool. There's a different video where, you know, I listened to it over and over again when I was making the captions, and I saw that you had pointed out that I said something in a weird way, and it wasn't exactly incorrect, but then I accommodated your pronunciation. <laughs> I don't want to do that this time. <laughs> what was like, it? I don't remember. Um, well, I had said the word blent, which is wrong, and you were like, you mean blended. <laughs> you were cuter than that. <laughs> <laughs> but then later I say that something is guilt. I'm quoting somebody else with it, um, and you were asking if that person had meant gilded, and so I say gilded the rest of the time, but I think that gilded and guilt are different words used for different purposes. And I think that the purpose my one would have been was guilt, but I'm not totally sure. But either way, I could have kept saying it my way and it'd have to be nice. <laughs> guilt and gold. Yeah, so this is going to be a window. <sighs> See, I'm nervous because I told you how I have all these things I know I need to say at certain points in this and I can't remember which points they're going to be. <laughs> Next time make a script. I don't want to. <laughs> I want this to be loose and flowy, just like us. And breezy. Mm-hmm. Is it like a stained glass or just panes? Just, it's just, just a pain. <laughs> <laughs> just panes. We are so um, fortunate in this house because we have like really big windows that have no screen and we have no like panes. Mm-hmm. No <laughs> it's pain just one all. huge window, so I, I like that. It is funny. I it's funny you say that right now because when I was walking up to this floor earlier today, I glanced out the window in the schoolroom and continued to walk along to my room, and then I just backtracked, like, I need to look out this window again. <laughs> it's a beautiful view. It's kind of, like, stormy-ish gray, and it just looks really nice. Yes, every time I'm up here looking out the window, I want there to be a cushy couch to, <laughs> cushy, cushy couch to sit on mm. to watch the rain on a cushy couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird to have these lapses in, in talking, because normally we don't ever shut up. Oh, whoa. You're going to say shut up in a video your kids are going to watch? We never stop talking. We never decease. <laughs> <laughs> we never it's like the decease. only times we don't talk to each other is when the kids interrupt us. <laughs> I, yeah, it is weird to have to keep, like, I feel like we insert our own pauses waiting for an interruption and it just never happens it's true and it's like how is it because like we feed off each other how is it that we're both out of topics for the same moment (laughs) (laughs) it never happens i don't know gosh this was a tricky one because i had to keep on thinking which parts would be connected to each other like uh, all in the same model and which ones be separated because at first i made little window panes and then i made that connect directly to the wall and then I realized I had to separate that. And then there's a little, you know, a sitting nook area. And it's like, that can't be part of the wall either. So just all these little components had to be separate. But it was fun because last time I made a scene, it was for my reel. And, you know, those were big scenes with a lot in them. So it was fun to make a scene that was meant to be kind of limited from the start. It's only going to show just a teensy bit, just this little nook. And I think I'm going to keep adding to this nook and keep making it bigger and bigger to keep on displaying more of my stuff. (laughs) 
You should have a funky rug in there. Ooh, I mean, I could. That's the whole thing is I think it's going to keep expanding and expanding until this is just a house. <laughs> <laughs> and I made it one little corner at a time. Because I think in the next next time you see this little scene, I'm going to be including a little bookshelf a lot, like on the side of this nook, <laughs> nook, nook shelf. Mm-hmm. And because I'm making different little book covers, you'll see. Cute. <laughs> What's this? This is going to be a pot for the plant. I'm making a plant. <laughs> a potted plant. Yeah. Fun pot. Where did your glasses holder go? I hid it. <gasps> if you look in the outliner, that teensy little window to the side there. Not. Oh my goodness. So there are some assets that are colored in white, the mm-hmm. text, and some that are a little light gray. Yeah, yeah. Those are hidden. Huh. Um, you can. Oh, do you have all your glasses in there hidden already? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, wait, gla- <laughs> my glasses? I haven't imported those quite yet, but the, the glasses stand. Did you get confused? No. No, I thought you were talking about the glasses stand. Uh, Maybe was, you were? Oh, was that and your glasses? I thought you were. Oh, okay. Because there's lots of grayed out stuff. So yeah. I thought the glasses holder and more glasses were also grayed out. Okay, I've only made the glasses stand that's in this scene that's hidden, but I have not yet imported the glasses that will come eventually. Because there are a few other things I need to import um, I could put a couple of my masks in here and like a cup. <laughs> so I just, I save all the importing of things until the very end. The plant I'm making is called, you know, I've only seen it written down. I read it in my head. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is either pothos or pothos. I don't know how to, I don't know. I don't know how you would do that. I know, but I'm not telling you. Shell. <laughs> Guilt. <laughs> but it's just a leafy, leafy plant. And it looked pretty. Is it like a fern? Is that the right word? Is that the one mom has? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's, I think, spreads out further than this. Further? Virtual. <laughs> From what I saw, it seemed like these little pothos, pothos thingies, they just stay kind of, um, uh, what is the word, like compact, like to themselves. But hers, like, creeps mm. all hither and yon if you let it. What's it called then? Is it called a creeping Charlie? Something like that. Mom's is, yeah. Either okay. a, it's either a creeping Charlie or a creeping Jenny. I remember I once looked it up, but it's funny how it's like of all the thoughts on tattoos I would ever get, I've never really thought that I would care to get a flower-related tattoo unless it was maybe a sunflower. Oh, Felicity. Hmm. Even different. Okay. Even different. <laughs> how is that different from one of the two options I said? <laughs> <laughs> was that one of the options? Is it pothos or pothos? Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, but it's just funny how often I end up modeling 3D flowers and plants and stuff when I just, I'm not super interested in them in real life, but they're a good art um, muse. Mm-hmm. Make, oh, so many. <laughs> yeah. I make six so that they can all be a little bit different. And now I time to mighty morph them in slightly different ways. And it's not something that your eye would really detect. Like, I don't think you would see all the differences when they're all bunched together. But I think that if they were all kept super uniform, your eye would recognize that they were too similar. Mm. And that would be, um, there's a term for that. It's uh, unreality. No, it's mm, uncanny. No, that's not it either. Your eye needs some variation. Hmm. (laughs) Your eye does. Anyway. These look like hearts, and I wanted to call them love hearts, because that's what Avery calls them. Oh, why is Avery calling them that? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's um, bluey, because I think it's an Australian thing to call it a love heart. Oh. Because I've heard that from other people, and they tend to be Australian. Okay. That would make sense. Bluey's such an influence. <laughs> but yeah, they do look like hearts, uh, or um, they could look like that gluteal muscle. Mm. <laughs> yes, with some uh, tights or leggings. Yeah. I don't remember if I've told you this anecdote, but I had an art teacher in one of my life drawing classes who... Now, is it life drawing or is it figure... I can't remember what the right term is, but it's where you just draw people and they're usually nude, but sometimes they're not, sometimes they're wearing clothes. Anyway, but um, most of the time they're nude. And she had to talk a lot about how to draw specific parts of a body, and so we were always mature about it, but... There was this thing where it's like the teacher herself, she really had a hang up, like she never wanted to say butt crack. And so her workaround for that is, um, was to call it a gluteal crest. <laughs> Cause she just, I think she just thought calling it a butt crack was too crude mm. or something. And it was just silly. 
Oh, I'm making an object right now that is in this room with us. You might be able to recognize it any second now. Is it a frame? <gasps> it's a frame! <laughs> <laughs> I, my first guess is going to be my puzzle board. Mm. It's taking up the whole bed that I can't get comfortable. <laughs> Are you going to do my whole picture? Not the whole picture. And I do my own. My frame? Yeah, I do my own picture. There was a little, um, quick little tutorial that I'd seen on Instagram a few months ago that just had a, a fun little drawing you could make that anyone could make, really. So I just drew one of those for my smell fish. And put that in the frame. So it's nothing special. It's just, but it does take like four or so minutes of screen time. I'm waiting for that moment because I have like a couple of things that I wanted to say during that break. <laughs> oh, but this is, this was interesting to um, texture because at first I thought I should hand splotch things on, but instead I used generators. And this is kind of what Substance Painter is for. It's a major, I don't know, it's an important use for it, but I feel like I don't use generators all that often. But it's just a way, I don't know, it's like I keep importing like a rust generator, or I think that's what I just did just now, and I change the color from making it the rust be a whited out part, I change it into being green, or whatever else. And there's going to be a funny cut here that I don't think is noticeable, but it's like right now on the side, on the right side right there, you can see there are only two layers. And then I, just, oh. I do something, it's just a quick little maneuver, and there's a bunch because I didn't want to show... How I added each layer one by one because it was all really repetitive. <laughs> but yeah, those are my lull leaves. <laughs> and I super sped up this part um, posing all the leaves because it just takes too long. <laughs> I show a little bit of it right here and then there's gonna be another little wacky transition in a in a little bit where it's like oh wow they're all so perfectly placed but they didn't look that way before in like three, two, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm about to make a painting. This is, that's a UV. I made it perfectly square because it's just the drawing. And now we have about four minutes of just a satisfying looking swirly doodle kind of drawing. And I can tell you what has been on my mind like since we <laughs> began this evening, which is that, I don't know if you knew, but they made uh, live action One Piece recently. I saw it on Netflix. So <laughs> I meant to send you a screenshot of like real people faces. Yeah, I've been seeing, you know, there's been a big build up to it and I haven't really been interested in watching it because you know how I get it's like, even if I like a show, I get too nervous that it's not going to be good. So I don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like One Piece is important. And so I have just been kind of nervous. Like I want it to be good. If it's not good, I'll just... I'll take it personally, <laughs> but um, I decided I would just watch it yeah. as I, what? You. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought my drawing, my drawing did something. <laughs> um, so yeah, I decided to watch it, and it was so funny because it wasn't until, I think, yesterday that I realized that, like, I thought it was just one two-hour-long movie. I didn't realize it was a whole oh. show, but it is, like, eight yes. episodes, hour-long each. And you so. did it all? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Um, no, I watched about a half hour of the first episode while I was walking tonight. And I really like it so far. Good. I had to do this little trick on my mind because, I don't know, sometimes having something, like, I watch it in Japanese with subtitles and, it, like, the show in general. And so I wanted it to be as much like watching the anime as possible. And I knew that the same voice actors who do the show we're also going to be dubbing over the live action. So I just popped on the Japanese audio, kept English subtitles, and so now I can watch it as if it's the anime. And that's a good choice for me. And so it's something that I would say, like, I would want to recommend this show on to you, but I don't know if it changes the whole experience to watch it in English. <laughs> but so far, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I couldn't even get past the first episode. Really. I Well, I tried once, and then I think I did finish the whole episode. But it's not really my cup of tea, I don't think. That is one thing that I heard as, as an advertisement for this, is like, if you don't want to sit through, like, I don't know, the corniness that comes from the anime, then it's like, the live action might kind of change that a little bit. Like, because already, like, one thing that they haven't really done in the anime or really manga, I don't think 
is like have any of the main characters kill people <laughs> they're always like they're gonna live on and learn their lessons or we'll see them some other time or whatever but um when we meet Zoro, the very first thing he does is kill somebody <laughs> whoa so it's just it's a little bit different like they changed the tone of it just slightly but i think that the heart of it is still pretty good and i don't know i'm enjoying it so the thing you're waiting to say when we were watching this was not anything about this? <laughs> not anything about it. <laughs> um, yeah, because this is all just the same thing. It's so satisfying to watch, though. I was hoping you'd say that. I was really contemplating speeding it up further or, like, cutting at some point because, I don't know, but it is just... Like I said in a previous video, if you didn't want to watch an art speed through, what are you doing here? <laughs> there is one section of this that I do chop up in a in a little bit like after I finish all of these little outlines I kind of add some lighter lines within them and I just I show a brief little section of that and then I just kind of shake the screen and then it's all perfectly filled in so you have to make some concessions but yeah the little Instagram tutorial that I saw for this art piece it was um, like it was made on paper and I think that that would have been a lot nicer to do because I don't know it's like sometimes I feel like I don't have as much control over the brush when I'm making stuff digitally and let me tell you that as satisfying as this is to watch right now that was done so painstakingly by me earlier today like editing through making sure that like for every stroke you see I did a couple of strokes trying to make the perfect one. Oh no <laughs> so it was like just an clip out little section of the video every every frame <laughs> it was so rough yeah, a... so this is the filling in of more things and i'm just gonna shake the screen and oh! all, done. <laughs> all done so beautiful it kind of looks like hair yeah and now i oh, want to no. <laughs> she hated it. She scrolls it all out. <laughs> now i'm just trying to make it look as though it is paper so i'm just i put some gray now i'm putting different filters on that layer to make it look like a wash of I don't know, just jaggedy, papery texture. Hmm. <laughs> and then I changed the color of the ink. It's not going to be pink. It's going to be... What do you think? I want to say blue because it was blue. <laughs> I can't think of colors while I see colors happening. <laughs> Teal, you guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That would be a good tattoo. Gosh, the tattoo artist also has to make like a bunch of practice strokes oh, to get the perfect one. Oh, and then the frame, and now it'll be, it'll soon be recognizable to you, Michelle, not to the viewers, as a frame that is in this room with us right now. You can put up a picture of my picture. I could. Yeah. Right there. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be more satisfying to have it at the end so you can see the comparison. I mean, I could, I'm just, I'm going to put it when you say there. I'm probably just going to edit I'll it right I'll say it again in. when it's a better time. Michelle, no! <laughs> like, we have the one. <laughs> that makes me, I need to remember to take a picture of your picture before I leave the room today. I need a picture of my picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you do, don't you? No. <clears throat> I might even have it so easily accessible. I'll just send it just super quick. Stop not looking at the screen. Oh, no. It's my art! <laughs> Goodness. We had a vacation and now <laughs> there's a million pictures in between. Oh, I see. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just sketching out the design. You know what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Only because I can see it. <laughs> did you have to come into my room without me in here? I guess I probably did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you to confront me in front of everyone. How embarrassing. <laughs> I just leave it like that. Just scratchy. <laughs> Who cares, you know? No one's going to look at it. No, it's looking like something. <laughs> oh. And now it's immortalized. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, UVs. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Like, those are on, not oh, usable. No. That's what automatic UVs look like, also oh! unusable. So I sew them all together so I can make my own what cuts. What is that? <laughs> um, I just sewed all the edges. And then I made good cuts, and so now I've got good pieces. Oh, dear. I make them all a uniform size, 
And the idea is to like maximize your usage of that space because that's how you're going to get the most bang for your buck, like going to get the most, um, what is the word, like um, detail, I suppose, like when you texture it. And I'm trying to organize it and I'm like, oh, I gotta flip it on its side. That's the best way to make the most use of all that I have of this little square. You, okay. So it's, that's just how you UV. You have to put it in this square? It does, yeah. I think right. that you can use more squares. I don't know, cause it's just, it's what? You just gotta use a square. I think there are other squares you can use, but at that point it's like, you're still keeping the same proportions. It's like if you use, you know, four squares instead, it's like, you're still, <sighs> the um, ratio stays the same you know oh and there's I'm not gonna show you guys how I make the stems for this but you're gonna see the stems pop up out of nowhere um, and it's so subtle but they're there right now <laughs> I see them you never you never watch the process because you guys don't care about seeing stems made I see more things yeah I imported all those guys <laughs> so there are my glasses <laughs> That's a good way to distinguish, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want those things oh. clipping through, you know? Yeah. But it's like, you don't want to go too high and make it so it's like a floating cup, you know? Yeah, certainly not. It's a... You're going to make that wall longer? No, see, I've got a camera at the perfect angle. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just, um, it's just a 1K square of a render this time. I didn't do like a full 1080, whatever the heck. Oh, and I'm also doing this thing where I make a nail and I don't want to do UVs and like a whole texture for the nails. So I just put them into the texture of a other thing, of the eternal knot thing. Because I'm like, the nail could be gold to match the eternal knot. So sometimes you can just kind of whiff it. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you guys watch One Piece in the meantime. Bye! Bye!